Something like 10,000 barrels of yellow cake, that represents something like 2,000 litres of yellow cake and on its own it's not very dangerous apparently because it's emitting only low levels of radiation. Uh, but over here you can see that there are open plastic bags of yellow cake, open lids everywhere, we're seeing sort of breathing masks left to one side. There's a lot of concern that this is not really supervised. The international community understood that uh, Libya had this yellow cake, but they thought it was under supervision closer to Tripoli. The fact that it's down here in Sabah in the desert, virtually unguarded, is a cause for concern. Now, on the black market, this is worth a small fortune, and there are concerns that some of this Given the uncertainty of what's happening in Libya, the lack of organization, it could fall into the wrong hands. That could be potentially devastating. There are reports that Iran and other countries, North Korea perhaps, are interested in what's going on here. Up until two days ago, this was not a secure area. This was an area which was basically in the middle of the desert. You could just walk into here. No guards, no protection. Now, the International Atomic Energy Agency is taking steps now with the Libyan, with the NTC, to try and get this supervised and get it guarded. And that's an essential element. We're not sure exactly how far the program has gone uh, because uh, under Gaddafi's regime it's supposed to have been dismantled in 2003. But around this area we're seeing sort of warehouses stocked with uh, canisters and the people don't know what's in them. There are concerns that these may be uh, chemical weapons, they could, concerns that they're just ordinary basic things that are affecting the people, the population in the area. We're hearing stories about deformities in births in hospitals and premature births and that sort of thing. No concrete proof to back that up but there are concerns at the moment and now as the days go on they will try very hard to find out where those chemicals are make sure they don't get into the wrong hands